You want to support Roller March Unfiltered? Be sure to join our Bring the Funk fan club. Every dollar that you give to us supports our daily digital show. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real as Roller Martin Unfiltered. Support the Roller Martin Unfiltered daily digital show by going to rollermartinunfiltered.com. You can make this possible. All right, folks, let's talk about uh, our second story, and that is Republicans, uh, they want to move forward to try to dismiss the impeachment charges against Donald Trump. Uh, they have introduced a, a bill to actually ignore, not even wait for Nancy, Speaker Nancy Pelosi to send over the articles of impeachment. Well, she went before the press today and she said, I'll do what the hell I want when I want. Right. Now, in terms of impeachment, you will keep asking me the same question. I keep giving you the same answer. As I said right from the start, we need to see the, the arena in which we are sending our managers. Is that too much to ask? Where another, some of them have suggested they might want to dismiss. Dismiss equals cover up. They don't want documents, the documentation. They don't want witnesses. They may want a dismiss dismissal, which is proof that they cannot, cannot uh, clear the president of the wrongdoing that he has put forth. So no, I'm not holding him indefinitely. I'll send them over when I'm ready. Pam, the problem here is you got these weak ass Senate Democrats I know. who are who, who who are demanding that Nancy Pelosi send them over. We just we just witnessed Mitch McConnell come out and say, I've got the votes. All it takes, all Democrats need are three Republican senators to insist on witnesses in this trial. Uh, of course, uh, uh, Minority Leader Chuck Schumer, he was hoping, Lisa, Lisa Murkowski of Alaska, he was hoping Susan Collins of Maine and Mitt Romney of Utah would be those three senators. Nope, they're standing firm with Mitch McConnell. Right. But you got the Senate Democrats who don't know jack about how to shut the hell up <laughs> and stay unified and stand behind the strategy of Speaker Nancy Pelosi. You know, I want to make a couple points here, Roland, that I think are really important. First of all, Nancy's absolutely right. They want to quickly exonerate Donald Trump with no evidence, no witnesses, because they believe that this shouldn't have happened in the first place. But the problem is they're not just exonerating him to check a box. This is about reconciling actions to the American people. And Nancy understands that. And what's happening concomitantly at the same time that the Republicans are trying to pretend like there's nothing here is that we're getting this drip, drip, drip of information that is getting into the public sphere. Just a couple days ago, uh, there were news stories that uh, Lev Parnas, who was one of the Russians that was kicking around with Rudy Giuliani, has given the information in his iPhone to Congress. Now, let me tell you something. Uh, Lev Parnas and Mr. Fruman, who were who were tweedly d and tweedly stupid with Rudy Giuliani, <laughs> probably has a whole lot of communications on his phones, and I would assume not just to Rudy Giuliani, because apparently Devin Nunez was also talking to Lev Parnas, and there may have been a lot of other people talking to Lev Parnas, including people from the the Russian side of this equation. So. You know, the, the hope of the GOP is that they can clear and exonerate Donald Trump before all of this other information comes out. So there's this tension in the timing. And Nancy is just slow walking it because she knows that over these next couple of weeks, more and more of this information is going to get out into the public sphere. So that even if the GOP does exonerate him in their little show, dog and pony show, the American people will still know that Donald Trump is as guilty today as he was when we started this, and I want you to understand that not one micron of information that has come out since the whistleblower complaint in September has made anything better for Donald Trump. And the reason there's never going to be any information that exonerates him is because he is absolutely 100 percent guilty of everything he was accused of. And you cannot go back in history and remake stuff, right? Whatever is going to come out is going to be bad for him. Everybody knows that, including every member of the Senate. But the last point I want to make here is that 
Dianne Feinstein and some of these Democratic senators and some of these Democrats are trying to exercise their own muscle over the wishes of Nancy Pelosi. They like the sense that they're senators and they're in a position to judge the president and they just want to get in there and do their senatorial thing. And they don't understand that they're always playing for a position of weakness in the Senate, no matter how important they seem to think they are. The only time that you are actually the, powerful is when you're in the majority. And that's the thing, Erica. The reality is this here. McConnell has the votes. And so if you're Senate Democrats, stop trying to sit here and say, oh, let's get it over with. No. Pelosi knows exactly what she is doing. It is driving Trump crazy as long as he cannot go out and say, see, I was acquitted. Absolutely. He doesn't have a paper that he can wave in front of the American people's faces. And the other thing which is so sickening to me is that Senate Democrats not understanding why every day, anytime a microphone is stuck in their face, anytime that they're provided an interview and they're um, asked these ridiculous questions about perhaps why they're not cooperating or why they're not pushing forward, um, pushing um, Speaker Pelosi rather to move these proceedings forward, is to go back to the December 12th interview that Mitch McConnell gave on Hannity's show, where he said that he is in lockstep with the White House and their counsel and to the extent that they are going to coordinate to see this through. Why in the hell are they not hammering that point home every day so that as in um, re repetition, um. that it is repeated over and over again to the media, um, um, the media who has failed by and large the American people to say back, listen, let me explain to you what the Senate majority leader is saying back to all of you all. He doesn't give a damn about rule of law. He's saying that this is going to go the way he sees fit. And so that's something that should be repeated over and over again. I don't understand why they continue to fail, why they feel like they have to play ball. Um, they just need to um, develop a spine and be tough. At the end of the day, it's called chess or you're playing checkers. And sitting Democrats, frankly, uh, don't have the intestinal fortitude or the cojones of Nancy Pelosi, Greg. <laughs> no, I mean, but Ron Lino is interesting. There are many layers to this. Uh, when Bolton said that he'd be willing to testify before the Senate, don't think for a minute that there haven't been a number of conversations. There are a number of unknown, uh, n known unknowns. There are things we know we don't know. We don't know, we know they're coordinating, but we don't know what's going on. You know, after they stole that election a couple of years ago in 16, now you've got all these interests that sometimes oppose each other. You've got the, uh, the, the kind of Christian nationalist right, whether it be Pompeo and Mike Pence and them, who are looking in terms of foreign policy and thinking the war with Iran might lead to the attack on Israel, which then means we can get one step closer to the rapture. You've got that interest with these Christian nationalists. Then you've got the corporate interests that are looking at foreign policy and saying, we don't need Donald Trump. So if Bolton says he's willing to testify, that could mean one of two things. Either one, Bolton and them talking, and he says, you know, you ain't got to worry about it. We're not going to call you with McConnell. Or Bolton is saying, we don't need Trump anymore. Pence can run the country because he's with us on attacking in terms of foreign policy, and maybe they give Trump up. But these are, these, are the, these are interests that are at war with each other. McConnell says he has the votes because they understand at this juncture they don't need to sacrifice Trump. But if they do sacrifice Trump, They've got Pence waiting. So don't think, and let's just set aside Murkowski and Collins and, and all that old BS, you're thinking about elections. Finally, we'll say this. I agree with everything Pam said and everything Erica said and what you said. Pelosi has no interest in advancing this because she doesn't have to. And this, as Pam said, it could keep dripping out. Nothing is going to exonerate. She's got another potential impeachment charge in terms of obstruction of justice as this thing wins its way through the court and Don McGahn, the White House counsel, may be compelled to testify. They can always have another article of impeachment. But let's pay very close attention to the end game, whether it's domestic policy in terms of the federal judiciary, foreign policy in terms of uh, war policy or Iraq or extended presidential powers. Nothing changes if Donald Trump is switched out as the president of the United States. Now, now the question becomes, as we've heard, are you now going to now show how Pence was involved? Right, right. How these other people were involved? Because if you don't, this doesn't cut the head off the snake getting rid of Donald Trump. And Mitch McConnell and Nancy Pelosi are playing a political game, but never forget right. the underlying objectives. This doesn't stop the train that they're running in the Republican if Donald Trump is gone. You want to check out Rollerbart Unfiltered? 
youtube.com forward slash Roland S. Martin. And subscribe to our YouTube channel. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real. It's Roland Martin Unfiltered. See that name right there? Roland Martin Unfiltered. Like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's youtube.com forward slash Roland S. Martin. And don't forget to turn on your notifications so when we go live, you'll know it. Martin.